Hey everybody! So this week I am starting a new series and I'm gonna go pretty fast in this series but my goal is to fill up this visual watercolor journal Strathmore and I intend to fill it up with very simple um, sketches and watercolor pieces. So I kind of lost some inspiration so I'm just going to kind of go back to the basics and get some ideas. So I'm going to just go back to drawing regular things that I see around my studio. So I've already started this and I might do them again but the first thing I did was that I sketched my paintbrush. So it's not this paintbrush, which I'll do this, maybe do this paint paintbrush next, is one of the ones I use very frequently, these two. I use Creative Mark number six, or I use all the Creative Mark line, and I use the run Langnickel Minta and I don't know if they have these this particular brand anymore but I'll link something similar on Amazon I know they have these creative mark ones on Amazon so but this one was a Princeton brush I didn't put Princeton on there but I put what it was in the number 12 long so that was the first one I did and then I just did a red colored pencil. So I'm gonna do these simple drawings to um, get myself back into just a drawing and painting what I see to get my skills back to where they um, need to be so and I'm doing it a very simple way so the first one I drew but this the second one I just took the pencil and I just placed it on here today we're going to do a sharpie so and highlighter so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it on my paper and I'm going to trace it I'm going to do that as a start just to kind of give me some lines now that just gives me a basic shape and I'm going to put it up on my um, paper in front of me so I can see the shadows. Now I have some lighting going on here and it's kind of harsh but it keeps wanting to roll. So okay so I want to look at it and I got my general trace here so I'm going to just finish out these shapes. This is kind of a I'm just going to connect the dots. This kind of comes out. And I'm not worried about making mistakes or I'm just doing the shapes here. That, that line's kind of curved and flares up. <coughs> okay, and then it comes down. There's where the cap goes. 
and then it kind of comes out and has a little shoulder on it. You can go by your trace but I'm kind of widening it a little bit. And I'm going to turn it. Sometimes if I turn my paper, I can get a better angle for my pencil. Okay. So there's my general shape. Now I'm going to take my eraser and I'm going to erase the lines that I don't want and I'm going to kind of just lightly erase my other lines but not to the point where I can't see them. And I like these plastic erasers. You can get them at Walmart or Amazon. I like here lately I've been getting all my stuff from Amazon. All right now I'm gonna take a brush and get off those eraser marks. Okay, so now I'm going to start with um, a, I'm going to use this number six round from Creative Mark Mimic, number six round Mimic Creative Mark. So I want you to follow along with me. My goal is to fill up this whole sketchbook with easy things. Now I've got my Holbein watercolors over here to the side and I'll link those in the description below on Amazon of course and I have them in this Magello palette which I really like because it gives a lot of room for the paint to go in. All right, so I'm going to start off with a lemon yellow because that's a cool color yellow. There it is. I think I'm going to clean my palette off here. Okay, so of course, before the first thing I do is I mix my paint on the palette. It's not going to take much, but remember to get the paint to move on watercolor paper. You have to mix it with water. So, get our painting back in focus here. So I got some water on my palette and I'm going to just start painting in my highlighter. And I'm going to do this with a fairly light wash. Okay. All 
All right, so we'll let that dry and then we'll come back and we will um, put in our details. Okay, so we're back. So here's what I'm going to do. This is just plain yellow. So I am seeing some green in this. So I'm going to take a little bit of this green and I'm going to add it to this yellow and make it kind of a yellowish green that's going to be used as a shadow. I'm going to turn my book a little bit and I'm seeing that right across the top here. So I'm going to use this as a shadow. I'm going to dab my ferrule my brush so I don't get There we go. And I'm going to put a little bit more right here. Okay, I'm going to put a layer. It's lighter right here. And I'm going to put a layer down here. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I'll put a little bit right here too. I'm going to leave that lighter part of the yellow right there. Um, I'm seeing some let's see. Let's, while that dries, I'm going to put a little bit of, I'm going to make some gray and put it as a shadow underneath. Okay, so I'm seeing a gray shadows so I'm gonna make a little bit of a gray with this yellow by adding just a teeny tiny touch of purple. That's more of a brown. We'll mix it in with that green. Okay, so there's, it's kind of a, maybe just a little bit more. There we go. Just keep adding purple until you see, see the shift go. Now I'm seeing a shadow there and I'm seeing a shadow right under here. And all the way around Hmm. It's not quite gray enough for me. So maybe add a little bit of
Okay. Let's go again. Okay, now I'm going to rinse my brush. I'm going to take it and I'm going to just soften the edges. Okay, so that's dry. Now I'm going to put another layer of that green with yellow, and I'm going to go a little bit brighter. And right up here. Maybe right around here. Okay. So I think that's all uh, the painting. I'm going to do. So now I'm going to let that dry and then we'll go with a marker As soon as that dries, we'll go around it. This this part might be dry, and we're just going to take our marker and go around the edge. Doesn't have to be perfect. that dry another minute. And I'm going to write Sharpie. this and go in here. Doesn't have to be perfect. But this is a really easy project to do. I'm going to fill up my sketchbook with Oh, look, I made a mistake. So I'm just going to compromise there. There. And I'm going to put 
here and I'm going to put my initials there there is our site drawing of a Sharpie highlighter it's not perfect but I think it's good to go on a sketchbook to practice your skills so I think it's cool you could even darken the letters of the Sharpie. Trace over the letters again. Now, we're just, we're just sight drawing things in our house, so I'll link the materials I used in the description below. Most of them I got from Amazon, so, but we can find everything on Amazon, so You know, I could have even colored it with a Sharpie, but I didn't. This is watercolor paints, so sign your work, send me your paintings that you used, I'm trying to find things that you'll have around the house anyway. Most people have a highlighter. You could you could draw a paintbrush, you could draw a sharpie, you could draw a pair of scissors. I might do that next. I'm just going to draw things that I have around my studio. Sign your work. We're still in August. So, there you go. Have fun doing fill in your sketchbook. We're going to fill our sketchbook with everything we see in our studios. So, send me put link a copy of the your picture in the description below or you know how to get a hold of me. Email me or text me and We'll do another one. So this is going to be a fun project. See you later, guys. Like and subscribe. Bye.